Hey guys. So it's been a while since I've been on. Uh, how many months? <laughs> how many months this time? Um, so things are going well. We just got past Christmas. Um, Christmas went great. We had a lot of time with friends and family. And uh, today, actually, I think that I'm pretty much got rain potty trained. Um, I just took his diaper off today. I was just like, I've had enough with diapers. I've spent enough money on diapers. He's almost four in January, so we got to do something. So this morning I woke up, he woke up, I got his potty out, I took his diaper off and I said, no more potty, or said, <laughs> no more diapers, we're done, we're done with diapers, and he said, okay, mommy, and then he peed on the floor, I think it was like three times, and I just kept, you know, positive reinforcement, like you have to do this on the potty, you have to do this on the potty, you can't be peeing on the floor, you have to do this on the potty. And then he went on the potty, went on the potty again, went on the potty again. And then I, we, me and him were in his room today playing and I had the potty in there. And uh, I left the room for like, I don't know, two minutes, went downstairs. And I came back and I just got to the landing of the stairs and he was out there. He grabbed my hand. He said, mommy, come look. And I was like, what is it? He pooped in the potty. <laughs> It was amazing. Um, so that was awesome. Like he didn't even need my, he didn't even need me to tell him anything. I think the sun's going out here. He didn't even need me to tell him anything. He just pooped on his own in the potty. So the only time he's going to have diapers on is when he naps or when he goes to sleep. That's number one. Number two, I'm not blonde anymore. I fried my hair, like all through here. You can see the breakage from the last time I went blonde. And it was really blonde. It was like white. It didn't look right. Uh, so I went back to brown, but I didn't go back to, I didn't go to dark brown. I just said I wanted, I just wanted, you know, it looks a little bit messed up right now. It's just up in a bun, but I just wanted like, just like a soft brown. So that I, uh, if I wanted to do highlights again in the summertime and just highlights, not full blown again, um, then I could do that easily without having to worry about cutting through too much brown. Uh, I was supposed to have thyroid surgery on November 10th. I got in the car with my mother. I had my son with me and a friend of mine and, uh, Managed to get in the car this time, got all the way up an hour, almost an hour away, and uh, went into the pre-op area, like got booked in and went into the pre-op area, and then, uh, yeah, just didn't happen because I had fear about panic attacks again and everything else, so, yeah. Uh, so anyway, my doctor, or my ENT, said that he would not ever consider taking me in for uh, thyroid surgery ever again. But my sister-in-law had her half of her thyroid taken out uh, last summer and she told me that her ENT was amazing. He's, he's a little bit away. He's like an hour and a half away from me. But I said, you know what, was, it would be worth it because when I was talking to any interactions that I had with my old ENT asked to stay the night at the hospital. No, this time they didn't even have me go for blood work. Don't know why. Normally they get me to go for blood work before surgery. That's like a standard practice kind of thing. Didn't do that. Um, gave me value. And I was just like, that's, I can understand where you're coming from. You're trying to help me with the panic attacks, but at the same time, Valium is pretty heavy never taken that kind of stuff before, never taken Valium out of it anything. So I'm just like, nope, I'm not doing that. Uh, a couple of days before I was supposed to have it done, uh, I felt like I was at peace with it and I thought that I would be okay, but I wasn't. But the first time I was supposed to have it done last March, I couldn't even get in the car. Second time in November, got in the car, made it to the hospital, couldn't go in the operating room. Third time, 
probably going to be the child. So we'll see what happens. Um, moving on to school. School's great. Uh, we're on Christmas break right now. We are until January 8th, and then we start our field placements. And my grades at school have been amazing. I've been between the 80s and 90s. Um, helps that I did this course in 2015, because a lot of the stuff is, it's a lot of stuff that we're learning now is more like, um, like a refresher for me, because I've done it before, I just didn't graduate. So, it's not too bad. Um, made friends at school. I told myself, when I go to school and when I go to work, uh, like I started a new job in July started school in July and I told myself I'm not getting involved with anybody I'm there to do my work and I'm there to do my school and that's it and I'm not interested in anybody that I go to class with or go to work with but things just don't turn out that way um I met some pretty amazing people at work and my classmates are amazing so I have no complaints everything's going good I got a tattoo <laughs> The crown up here is still healing a little bit, but I'm like, I got my other kids' names here, so I might as well add to it, <laughs> Rain's name, because it's kind of not fair to have the other kids' names and not have Rain's name. Um, what else? If you can look at me, you can probably tell that I'm still losing weight. I'm down to 164 pounds now. Last time I was on, I believe I was 170. Um... Still fasting. I wasn't really fasting the last week or so though because of Christmas, but back to fasting this past week. I feel like I've lost more weight, maybe like a pound. So I try not to check my weight very often, but the last time I checked it was at my aunt's place last weekend, and that's when it said 164. So I find that if I'm I don't know. I just don't like to weigh myself. I just, if I feel better and I look better, that's what matters to me. It's not the number on the scale. But, um, what else? I think that's pretty much it. Everything's going well. I don't have any complaints. I don't have anything negative to say. Except, if <laughs> I wore these pants. Shortly, I got these shortly after I had rain. How unbelievable is that? Like, literally, I can fit another human being in these pants with me. So, <laughs> um, kids are growing up, not having any more, done with that. I was thinking tonight, I was like, I wonder, you know, like, what if, you know? It would never happen, but like, what if? And I'm like, no, I couldn't do that. I couldn't go back to the baby stages again do it all over again oh my god no <sighs> my oldest son's gonna be 13 in february rain's gonna be four in january uh rain's gonna be starting big kid school in the next year and a half year and some so yeah anyway i hope everyone have a great had a great christmas new year's this weekend Is it today or tomorrow? Uh, yeah, tomorrow, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day is on Monday. So I hope everyone has a great New Year's. I hope everyone had a great Christmas and got lots of turkey and lots of presents and lots of family time because that's what matters the most. And you'll probably see me in a couple more months when I come on and do another update. <laughs> Thanks for everybody that watches. Appreciate y'all and see you in the next one. Bye.